Next, we honor Woven Webb. She's known as the mare that outran Shoe Fly. Woven Webb, a chestnut thoroughbred mare that ran under the name Miss Princess on AQHA sanctioned tracks, bested the three-time world champion racing American quarter horse in May 1947. She then set out on her own three-season run as the world champion of the fastest horses on earth. Woven Webb was bred and owned by the King Ranch, which at the time was managed by American Quarter Horse Hall of Famer Bob Clayburgh, the undisputed master of his family's famed empire at Kingsville, Texas. The mare was straight King Ranch thoroughbred breeding by Bold Venture, who in 1936 won the Kentucky Derby and Preakness Stakes and sired King Ranch's Triple Crown winner, Assault. Woven Webb was foaled in 1943 out of the sprinting livery mare, Ruha. Both Woven Webb and her half-sister were campaigned under the management of Ernest Lane at Odom, Texas, who leased Clayburgh sprinters to run them on the Southwestern Racing Circuit. A highly efficient racing machine, in the words of American Quarter Racing Association Secretary Treasurer Melville Haskell, Woven Webb began her racing career in March 1945 at Mexico City. Racing at distances of a quarter mile to five furlongs, Woven Webb equaled the world record of 27.2 seconds in 550 yards and won four of six starts while south of the Rio Grande. Taken back to the United States, the newly dubbed Miss Princess won each of the 10 official races on AQRA tracks and set a world record of 22 seconds flat that stood for 33 years as the track mark at Del Rio, Texas. In a career dotted by one highlight after another, Woven Webb is most remembered for the bright light of May 3, 1947, when she met Shoefly at the Valverde Fairgrounds in Del Rio in a quarter-mile match race. Trained by Paul Samar and ridden by Pat Castile, Miss Princess scored by daylight in 22.3 seconds, equaling what then was the world record held by Shoefly. AQRA crowned Miss Princess the world champion for the 1946-47 season when the AQRA racing year still dated from autumn through spring and followed with the 1947 and 1948 years. Woven Webb was finally retired in mid-1948 when there was simply nothing left to prove, nothing more to conquer, and nothing left to even try her. Taken back to King Ranch, where she was periodically brought out to show off to admiring horsemen, Woven Webb produced three thoroughbred foals. She was inducted into the Texas Horse Racing Hall of Fame in 2005, and Los Alamitos Racecourse each year pays tribute to her with the Grade 3 Miss Princess Handicap. In Clayburgh's opinion, Woven Webb was a hell of a mare. Join me in welcoming to the stage AQHA past president, Mr. Stephen T.O. Clayburg, accepting on behalf of Woven Webb. When I got the notice about Woven Web, first thing I asked myself was why. When you look at the registration papers, there's no numbers on it. Woven Web was a straight thoroughbred. And so to, and, and I want to set the record straight, Woven Web ran before I was born. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm not that old. <clears throat> But I went back and read the history of the King Ranch Quarter Horse that Bob Denhart rode in the, rode in the 50s, just, just so I could get a grasp of it. And it takes you way back to the, after the Civil War, when ranchers at the time were using Kentucky thoroughbreds to breed ranch mares to supply remount horses for the United States Cavalry. 
most of those horses that were being used were of thoroughbred blood. And in reading Bob's book, he states that the horses at the time, and we're talking about the 30s and the 40s before the American Quarter Horse Association was founded, that during that time that most of the horses that we had at King Ranch were 7 H thoroughbred. And if you remember when uh, Bob Denhard and, and the committee of men that went around and looked at horses, they, they were not particularly uh, interested in a pedigree or a line pedigree as much as they were in confirmation. And if you look at this, this mare, uh, she is very typical of a, a really good quarter horse mare. And so that, that's what intrigued the association about this particular horse. And it was interesting, and, and I wondered why she had two different names. Well, she ran in Mexico City at the big track there in the, dis in the district under Woven Web. And from what I understand, she couldn't get a meet on this side of the border, so they decided really the way to get her a challenge match was just change her name. And so uh, she, ran, she ran in Mexico, and, and you know, Mexico can do that and get away with it. But uh, they, they ran in Mexico as Woven Web, and when she came to Del Rio to run her races on this side with Mr. Ernest Lane, uh, she, she ran as Miss Princess. So uh, it's, it's, a neat, it's a neat history. Uh, goes back many, many years with my family and raising uh, American quarter horses with thoroughbred blood in the, in the background. And I want to thank the Hall of Fame Committee for uh, selecting Woven Web, American Quarter Horse Association, and uh, one other special thanks is to my good friend Howard Weiss, past president Howard Weiss and his wife Phyllis Bobby Harrison, or, and, and Pee Wee Moreno are sitting there with me at the table, and uh, I, I, I don't have a closer f friend in the association than Howard, and uh, thank them for being here to, to help me uh, accept this award tonight. Thank you very much.